we stop, the exams must happen, an important direction provided by the Supreme Court on medical and engineering entrance exams. Precautions do need to be taken, the court has made this clear. Does this order pave the way for the holding of final year degree exams and the open of all other educational institutes in the country? Here's what the top court said. The court said, life cannot be stopped. We have to move ahead with all safeguards. The career of students cannot be put in jeopardy for long. Are students ready to waste a year? Education should be opened up. COVID may continue for a year more. What are you going to wait another year for? Do you know what loss to country and peril to students is? Well, we've got both sides of the debate over here, including the main petitioner, a student from West Bengal, Shayantan Biswas, uh, who was in favor of postponement. We are also joined by Anubha Srivastava, President of the India White Parents Association, uh, who was also in favor of the exams being postponed, the medical and entrance, uh, engineering entrance exams. But we've also got the other side uh, very importantly. Jay Sharma is an IIT aspirant. Uh, he wants the exams to be held. They'll be held now in the month of September. The court has ruled. Also Kapil Gupta, CEO of NeetPrep.com and Learner.in. Again, somebody who says that life cannot be put on hold. We're also joined by Dr. Rakesh Varma, Additional Director General of Health uh, at uh, DGHS, the government, uh, DGHS, the government of India. Let me come to you first, Jay Sharma. Do you believe that the conditions are conducive to holding exams? Yes, the Supreme Court has made an order. Yes, the exams will be held. But do you believe that given COVID, it will be safe to sit for exams? Jay, can you hear me? I asked you. Go ahead. Yeah, yes, sir. The government's decision is absolutely a great relief to the students who have been preparing uh, very hard for the exam. Uh, yes, I'm uh, sure that government will uh, follow the proper SOPs and safety of students is ensured at every point. The government will also ensure proper disinfection of every computer, keypad and everything and will make sure that health is not compromised. So Jay, just a very practical question. The exams are how long? The three hour exams, right? Each one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So for three hours, three hours. Would in, in an area which is not air conditioned, um, it's extremely hot and muggy, for example, in Delhi, as you know, wearing a mask on your face, possibly a face shield. Some students will come with gloves as well. Would you be able to focus for that long in that heat to write an exam? Uh, you never sir, trained for that. The focus, we cannot focus well with all these equipments. Uh, but this is the only option we have and uh, as far as air conditioning is concerned, I don't think air co we can have air conditioning no, you because can't. It's the droplets. Yeah, so that's out of the question. So I'm just yeah. saying in the exam of your life where every mark counts, one of the most competitive exams on earth, uh, wouldn't you be incredibly uncomfortable besides anything else actually taking that exam? It's a practical question. Uh, so already there is a lot of uncertainty. Uh, we have been preparing for it for quite a long time. But as it prolongs, I think the performance will uh, deteriorate rather than improve. And I think this is the best time to give the exams. And wearing all these equipments will uh, protect us. Okay. And won't affect our performance. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Uh, I, I, I mean, it, it requires a great deal of mental strength as well. Young students like you looking forward to their careers. Good luck to them with that. Shantan Biswas, the main petitioner, student from West Bengal. The Supreme Court has ruled. The court believes that futures cannot be held. Uh, you know, at ransom in a sense, these weren't the words of the court to COVID, I think that was the general sentiment. Um, don't you believe that the order was essentially right in its belief, given the fact that what does one do? One doesn't know how long COVID is going to last. Jobs, careers, the cycle of life, somehow or the other needs to continue. Well, the essence is absolutely right. We actually don't know how long will this pandemic in India will last, but however, if we look at certain Predictions, we are seeing some rays of hope, like, for example, in, for example, take the case of USA. In USA, the daily number of cases were uh, reached almost 1 lakh and even exceeded it. Now, it has become so low that India has been 
push to the top in the number of daily active cases, making India the global hotspot. So we can actually, in the hindsight, when we can actually see in the future that a plateau will come. It happened for USA, it happened for Brazil, it happened for Spain, Italy. What is Italy. the point about the situation now? The, my point about the situation is now it is not at all conducive for these exams where so much gathering happens. Okay, that's an that important now. point. I want to bring in a health perspective. Dr. Rakesh Varma, isn't there a real concern, a real worry that if students are together in exam centers, no matter how many exam centers and rooms you have, uh, in a situation like this in many states, it's not exactly getting better, then you are, then, then we are potentially in a situation where a lot of people could fall sick. See, we cannot be too much afraid beyond a stage. You must realize the country has to move on, the life has to continue, life has to keep on moving. The session for the medical as well as engineering is already over delayed. So far, weather is consi being considered, as you mentioned earlier in the talk and discussion today, you must realize as compared to May, we are much better comfortable in September. So far air conditioning is concerned, majority part of the countries do not require air conditioning no, at sir, that Forget time. about the air conditioning, I am only asking about the spread of the virus. I, I was asking about see, whether see. students would find it difficult to take an exam with a mask and a face shield no. and gloves. I think everybody would, nobody would no, want no, it. No, I am only asking see. about the spread of the virus if students are in relatively close uh, proximity see. to each other. Yep. The boys and the girls who are appearing for medical or engineering entrance examinations are the cream of our society. They are intelligent, hardworking and responsible citizens of this country. They know the importance of social distancing, medical distancing, protection for themselves, protection from others. So they are very well aware and through the media, like your channel, has been propagating that you have to save yourself by prevention, by prevention and prevention. So I have got full faith and full trust in young blood of this country that they will follow this social distancing norm, personal protection, using a mask while being in the examination hall, not coming up close to others over strangers or 